Okay, I'm going to talk about linear convergence of a Frank Wolf type algorithm over trace norm boss. I'm Wei Hu. This is joint work with Ze Yuan, Alan Zhu, Elad Hazan, and Yuan Zhili. In this work, we study the following problem. Consider a convex function f defined on d by d matrices. And we want to minimize f of x subject to the constraint that the trace norm of x is less than or equal to 1. We call this constraint set the trace norm ball. Recall that the trace norm, also known as the nuclear norm, is the sum of all the singular values of a matrix. The trace norm is often used as a convex surrogate of matrix rank. This is an analogy to the L1 norm being a surrogate of the L0 norm of a vector. There are many motivating examples for this problem. For example, let's look at the matrix completion problem. So we have an underlying rank K matrix M, but we can only observe part of the matrix. Suppose that we observe entries Mijs for all Ij in some subset omega. And the goal is to recover the whole matrix from the observations. How can we do that? A natural way is to minimize the square loss over all observed entries with the constraints that the rank of x is less than or equal to k. However, this is a non-convex problem because of the rank constraint. So one thing we can do is replacing the rank constraint by a trace norm constraint. So we arrive at the problem of convex optimization over the trace norm ball that we want to study in this work. And there is some previous work justifying this approach, which says that under some conditions, this convex, this convex program will indeed recover the underlying matrix. And other applications uh, include phase retrieval, multi-class classifications, and polynomial neural nets, and so on. So what we have is a constrained convex optimization problem. One common way to solve it is projected gradient descent. It is an iterative algorithm. In each iteration, there is a gradient step and a projection step. So what's the issue of this algorithm? For the trace norm ball constraint, it turns out that the projection step requires doing a full singular value decomposition of a matrix, which takes d cube time in general. This is impractical even for moderate problem size. An alternative approach is the so-called Frank Wolf algorithm. In this algorithm, there is no projection. Instead, in each iteration, we need to find the furthest point in the feasible set along the negative gradient direction. So this is a linear optimization step. For the trace norm ball constraints, the linear optimization step amounts to computing the top singular vector of a matrix. We call this 1SVD. This can be done much more efficiently than a full SVD. So Frank Wolf has much lower per iteration running time. However, the Frank Wolf algorithm suffers from slower convergence compared with projected gradient descent. Here we summarize their convergence rates. So we look at the number of iterations t until we can guarantee that this arrow f of x t minus f of x star is less than or equal to epsilon. Here x star is the optimal solution. So when the function f is smooth, projected gradient descent can converge in one or epsilon iterations. And if f is also strongly convex, the convergence rate can be improved to log one over epsilon. This is the so-called linear convergence. However, Frank Wolf can only converge in one over epsilon iterations in both cases, even if f is both smooth and strongly convex. And this is tight in general. Nevertheless, we can still ask for the specific constraint set, that is the trace norm ball, whether we can uh, obtain linear convergence of a Frank Wolf type algorithm if the objective is both smooth and strongly convex. In this work, we give an affirmative answer to this question and the assumption that the rank of the optimal solution is k, which is much smaller than the dimension d. We propose a rank k variant of the Frank Wolf algorithm, which can achieve linear convergence, the same as projected gradient descent. But per iteration, we only need to compute the ksvd, which is the top k singular vectors of a certain matrix. This is why we regard our algorithm as a rank k variant of the Frank Wolf algorithm. And it was previously shown that computing ksvd is roughly the same as computing ysvd for k times, for relatively small k. So this is still much more efficient than doing a full svd if k is much smaller than d. 
Also note that this low rank assumption on X star should be reasonable, since as we mentioned, the main reason for imposing a trace norm constraint in many applications is to ensure that the optimal solution is close to low rank. Otherwise, the problem we are trying to solve may not be interesting in the first place. Also, we empirically evaluate the performance of our algorithm. As you can see, for matrix completion, our algorithm indeed outperforms Frank Wolf and another variant proposed by Garber on both synthetic and the movie lens dataset. Okay, this concludes my talk. Thank you for watching.